Hey, we're out here targeting some deep water crappies. I'm with my dear friend, Dan Quinn. And if you've spent any time fishing crappies in deep water, you know that it's not really a sport fishing opportunity, it's a harvest deal. A lot of the fish, almost all of the fish, are dead. So we wanna share with you a few things that we do to try to select for the larger fish in those basin situations. And this whole deal with selecting for larger fish really started, for me anyway, with the rip and wrap. It's been a fish catcher. Big crappies, perch, walleyes, pike, basically anything that eats a fish, a predatory fish, eats a rip and wrap. And it's, it's been an incredibly effective lure for you, for I, and for the masses. Anyone that's tried one has definitely seen the, the beauty and the magic of the rip and wrap. Yeah, you're not catching as many fish with it, but you're definitely catching the larger fish, especially if you fish the bait up above the big, big school of crappies. And now, Another one that's come on the scene here that I am fired to go drop down the hole for the first time is the new slab wrap. So tell us a little bit about the slab here, Dan. So yeah, the slab wrap is a brand new bait, a brand new category. You know, of course, we've had the jig and wraps, which have speak for themselves, the new edition of the rip and wrap a few years back. And they, those each have their own place. But the slab wrap also has, is, it opens up a new category. You know, it's not a blade bait. It's not a, rattle, a rip and wrap. It's not a jig and wrap. It's... It's got a great shimmy and a pull on the as you pull it up, but as you dance it, you can really get this thing to walk around. Uh, it's silent, and it's already proven to be an absolute fish catcher. Well, I, I got a feeling it's going to be be dynamite, perfect size for crappies. And, the, and then the last thing, I mean, it, there's times when you go out fishing these fish, and you're just simply not going to have them bite the big bait, so you need to downsize. And the tool that I've found to be just great for this is uh, the chandelier jig. This thing has been really an awesome bait. It's, it's basically a, just a big piece of tungsten with the treble hook on it that allows you to get down in that 20, 30, 40 feet really quick, put a little plastic or a little meat on the end of it and the crappies seem to love it. So those tools to me are really all you need to go out and basin fish and select for some of the bigger fish in the school. Oh, big, big fish. You hooked up Dan instantly, huh? He absolutely choked that rip and wrap. The new pink clown. I know catching crappies wherever I look for them, pink is tough to beat. And this new pink clown color. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is incredible. That's a beautiful crappie too. You know, a lot of crappie anglers might think I'm crazy for fishing with a lure like this. This is more of a walleye sized lure in the traditional sense. But I tell you what, as you just saw, it selects for the biggest crappies in the school and they absolutely inhale it. You definitely got to give this a try if you want to catch more and bigger crappies, especially in this deep water. I'm going to get back and get another one. There's one. I don't know if this is a big one or not. I guess it doesn't, they're not all huge. Oh, decent. Not bad. It was crazy. I was just working this thing, you know, above the school. That's one of the things I've noticed too with this is say the school's down 20, you know, 25 feet over 40 feet. Work that bait at 20 feet, five, a long ways above the school. And you'll see, you'll be fishing for a while and maybe a few fish kind of come, they kind of go. But usually you'll see one of the bigger fish race up and go for it. And it definitely, definitely is worth doing. Again, the, the whole thing with these deep water crappies is it's not a catch and release deal. It's if you catch them, you got to keep them. So the limit's 10. You want your 10 fish to be quality out here. And Dan's got another one. <laughs> this is a good time. Wow, that did not take long. These fish are fired up. There it is. Another run on that ultralight rip and wrap. Not moving it really aggressively. You know, this lit bait's real loud. If I were to really be ripping it, it might be a little too much. So real subtle, you know, a rocking action. They come up and just inhale it. And the other key to this is braided line. Fishing that deep, I want to feel that bait, and when they just come up and kiss it or suck it in, a lot of times with the stretch of mono, you won't feel that bite. So I'm a big fan of Suffix 832 Ice. Uh, it's got a coating to help reduce ice buildup, keeps your bait in the water, and you fishing more. Um, I tell you, it doesn't get much better than that though. Catching nice big crappies on big baits, slab wraps, and ultralight ripping wraps. Well, my screen is empty. Tell you what, these basin crappies, they're moving around, they're chasing forage. If they're not on your screen, it's time to move. Don't, you know, don't give it more than 30 seconds. So, Jerry's already on the move. He's got the Strike Master fired up. 
We'll go find them, stay on them. Maybe move 25 yards and there's the school. They're down here. Let's see if they're as aggressive as they have been. You know, one thing with crappies, they feed up. So you always want to stay above them. And as soon as they start making a move up towards your bait, stop. Don't, the further you get them to come and the higher in the water column, the more likely they are to bite. Oh, 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 oh this is a nice one. Oh yeah, wow. Oh, he just choked that rip and wrap. That is so cool. Just doesn't get old. Look at that. Oh, popped right off. There we go. It is fun fishing big baits, and I was fishing it aggressive too. You get lookers, 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 and it's okay. If you get denied, it's just be confident. There's a lot of little fish in the school. Yeah, they come up and look at it, they bump it, but you're, you know, trying to target more of that that range. So cool. Dan, I think we're getting pretty close to getting what we need for a meal. Maybe we'll go look for some crappies and sunny shallow. So that was a fun, fun bite. Slab wrap, rip and wrap, big baits like that, bigger crappies in the school.